Hello, everybody. I am going to introduce this Elenco kit, the Electronic Playground and Learning Center 130. This kit allows you to connect wires between springs to hook up different electronic components, and you can build a 130 different projects. Here's a list of some of them. However, there's a manual in Included with this kit that I can in which I can show you the different categories of projects in greater detail as well as the different parts. This kit is aimed for those ages 12 and up and pretty simple on the other sides of the box. They tell you basic details. What's especially good about this kit is that you do not need any tools or soldering and it is good for beginners you just need six double a batteries now i will show you the kit itself this is the main electronic center the batteries go into this open compartment in the back and you have so many different components you have a transformer a speaker an led digital display smaller LEDs, which are red, a CDS cell, and radio circuits. But the instruction booklet will go into greater detail about the parts and projects. You can see that the, like I said before, the projects are categorized. For instance, there are entertainment circuits, basic semiconductor and component circuits, LED digital display circuits, and so on. In addition, they are probably sorted from most basic to most advanced as well. Here are some rules regarding batteries and general use. Here they tell you about basically how you use the kit and you just simply insert these wires and they are color coded according to size. Some wires are shorter than others like the white wires are extremely short while the green wires are extremely long. And it's important to choose which wires you use wisely so that you make good connections without too much slack in the wires either. But here they tell you about how to insert the wires within the springs. You need to be careful to make sure that you do not break the springs or the wires. And sometimes you may need to cut the insulation off very carefully. But I recommend that you have an adult do that if you are not experienced with electrical equipment. Now, you don't need one, but what's interesting is that you can use a volt slash ohm meter for making measurements because in this kit you will learn a lot about different units for measuring electricity such as for voltage, current, or resistance. Now, a lot of these different measurements I have explained about in demonstrations of other electronic kits. So I may not go into too much detail about those in when I demonstrate the projects of this kit for time's sake, but I could definitely explain how the project works and the purpose of each one. Talk about the batteries, how they're installed. Here they go into detail about the individual components, like resistors and capacitors, diodes, which only allow electricity to flow through in one direction. The integrated circuits, which make electronics more compact, transistors, the CDS cell, switches, antennas, the antenna, 
and much, much more. So it gets very interesting. Now, here are some helpful suggestions for using this kit. I am not going to do them, but if you want to, if you have this kit, you certainly can feel free to do that. You can keep a notebook and record interesting information about the projects. And you can even collect different electronic parts and make your own electronic parts scrap box. That's something I have personally been interested in. You can build your own circuits on something like maybe a breadboard. And then here's the, uh, the instructions for a typical project. And you need to obey the wiring. You need to follow the wiring sequence carefully. And for instance, for the first step, you would connect a single wire from the spring that is the terminal that is marked 1, 2, all the way to the wire from the spring that is the terminal that is marked 1, 2, all the way to the terminal that is marked 29. And then you would take the next wire and start, in this case, at number 2, terminal 2 right there, and then go over to number 30. I don't know if you can see any of the terminals I'm talking about, but you need to connect the wires precisely. And you may also be asked to make alternative connections to modify the circuit in some way. Now it's recommended that as with any electronic kit or toy, you use extreme caution when experimenting on your own and probably adult supervision would not be a bad idea. Thank you very much for watching the intro video of the Alenco Electronic Playground and Learning Center 130 kit. I look forward to demonstrating the projects to you real soon.